Hi! I didn't want to blow dry my hair today, so you're just gonna gradually see it dry throughout the video. You don't mind. What have I ever been put together? All right, so I wanted to test, uh, Blaze, can you not shake when I'm filming, bud? It makes it really annoying. Thank you. Don't drink out of the toilet. Thank you. I wanted to test useful or helpful gadgets today. So let's, I'm gonna show you what I got and then we'll test them. First, it's a tape cutter. For like, you know, sometimes you need help cutting your tape. So I got a tape cutter. Travel soap. They're little tiny things of soap. Cause you know, like sometimes you go to a place and you wanna wash your hands and there's no soap. There's these cute little things and they're just sheets of soap. So we're gonna see if they actually work. Then we have, cause some, sometimes you know how you have, some people have wired headphones still and you wanna plug it. Can, now you're drinking. Can you just not make noise for like a second? That, all you needed was that sip of water and now you're good. You know how sometimes you have wired headphones, but you also need to charge your phone and you're like, how do I do both at once? Boom, they make a thing for it now. So you can listen to things and charge your phone at the same time. Magic. And then you have this thing for the beach, which apparently is a pillow and you store all your things in it. This might be the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And lastly, I am a little bit obsessed with Uncrustables. I think they're a delicious snack that are amazing and definitely are great frozen and thawed. So either or you're winning. So I got an Uncrustable maker. Ah, you can make Uncrustables, boy. Anyway, that's it. Let's go test this stuff. Okay, so the tape cutter. Attach tadpole to roll using cord. Attach tadpole, this is the tadpole, to the thing using the cord. How do you do that though? Cause that seems easier said than done. We did it. Pull tadpole back with thumb, then pull tape. Oh, so like, oh, if I want like this much. Okay, I got it. So you put, you pull it to where you want it. Hold tadpole against roll with thumb, then tear tape by pulling back at an angle. Now and okay, got it. Okay, that was that wasn't the cleanest cut anyone has ever made. We'll try again. Let's try again. All right, pull it back with your thumb. This is where I want it. Pull the tape. You know what? No one needs that. That's a good amount, All right? And nailed it. Okay, nailed it. It's not a quick swift. It's like a tug and then tug. Okay, got it. That was cleaner. Hey, this is actually a pretty cool gadget. Cool. Let's check it one more time just for safety. Make sure it works. I need this much duct tape and got it. See, okay, here's the thing. It's not gonna be a clean cut every time. You don't really know what you're gonna get. So if you're not comfortable with tags and snares, get out of here. Snares, tag, tags and snags, what I was trying to say. But it can work. Let's try it on a different type of tape. Here we go. Okay, so this is, this is like a foil tape. So it's for ducks and whatnot, but we're just gonna see how it works. Put that on there. This part is hard. So you're having to put this little string in this hole, oh, there it is. Gotta use, gotta use some strength. Okay, pull this back, pull it. I want it, I need this much and rip. It went at an angle. Okay, you have to be more precise as to where you put this. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, that works really well. Do I have any other type of tape? Hold on, painter's tape. I used a different size. It comes with three sizes. Okay, I'm using paint, this is painter's tape. Here we go. La di da, la di da, and boom. <gasps> that was a clean cut. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say tadpole tape cutter. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna say I like this one. Cause some duct tape is like you either tear it and then it like strings or you have to use scissors and the scissors get all gunky. This is actually a pretty good product for the duct tape. I'm liking this. I think this is a good product. Yeah, I'm gonna give this my seal of approval. I'm gonna seal it. That joke, it wasn't ever gonna land. Next product. Okay, now we have to test this soap dispenser thing. Okay, so you're like, oh, I'm out of place. I need to wash my hands. Oh, they're out of soap, but they have water. Or I have a bottle of water. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I need to wash my hands of a bottle of water, but I don't have no soap. I do. So you open this up. So you take a little sheet out. It looks like this. I'm gonna wet my hands and Oh, it smells like a tree. Like what are those trees with those flowers. It smells good. It smells good. It's got a good, it's a flowery floral scent, but it's not crazy. Oh my goodness. That was magical. I rinse. Dude, that worked. What is the name of that flower? It's not jasmine. It smells good though. Oh my gosh. I mean, you could. 
could also just like bring hand sanitizer with you wherever you go. But sometimes you wanna like wash your hands and get the gunk off, not just like kill the germs. Or if you like don't, if you think hand sanitizer like dries out your hands or whatever, I don't know what you do with your life. But yes, these are cute. The only thing that's really missing is like a way to put it on your keys, but they give you a bunch of these. This is, look at just little sheets. I don't even have to test anymore. This was great. Travel soap for your hands. Yes. Okay, picture this. Your Bluetooth headphones die. All you can find at the airport are wired headphones, but your phone's about to die. So, ah, I just got new piercings, these hurt. Okay, all right, the real. Your phone's about to die. What do you do? You have to listen to music and play on your phone. There's no way that you could just sit in silence or listen to your own thoughts. That would be ridiculous. So this goes, this goes into the phone? No, it doesn't. This doesn't, it doesn't work on an iPhone. How did I not read that? I read Apple and immediately thought it worked on this. What does it work on? Does it work on this? No. What does this go to? What in the world? Oh, it goes on an Apple iPad Pro, a Samsung, a Google, and an HTC. Well, so this doesn't work for an Apple phone. I thought it did. I don't know why. It also doesn't plug into an Apple laptop. So picture this. You have a Samsung and all of that happened. What in the world? I can't even test this. What fits into this? So an Apple charger and headphones fit into this part, but this, I have no idea where this plugs into. Why? Why are all the plugs different? Why? Why did we make them all different? The world is evil. If people actually cared about people, all the plugs would be the same. All of them, around the whole world. This is how I know true evil exists, that all the plugs are different. I don't even know how to test this. If I keep this in, I quit YouTube. Oh, ha. I'm just going to the beach with my really cool perk. Why are you trying to eat it immediately? It doesn't make noise and it hasn't done anything. Can you not try and eat my products? Like, eat, just like, you're being really annoying this video. Again. Oh, I'm just walking on the beach with my really cool purse. Nothing to see here. Time to lay down. Oh, how am I gonna rest my head? I know, I'll put it on my purse. Can you get, no! Get out of place! You're a thief! Oh, stop! You're ruining my scene. Oh. Wait, actually this is pretty comfortable. I was about to make fun of it and then I realized this is extremely comfortable and I could fall asleep right here. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this is pretty comfortable. This is pretty nice. I'm okay with this. I like it. I didn't ask you. You're in my way. They can't see me. No one came to this channel to look at you. Okay, so it's comfortable and you can carry it. But do you think this is gonna hide your things? Ah! I have all of my things in there. I have my phone, I have my watch, and I have my credit cards. Boom! I fooled all of the thieves. No one knew what was in there. Uh, it's it's just foam, like this is gonna deteriorate in a second, but there's nothing really to keep this closed, so this kinda just will flap open if like pushed too hard or something. But like it's supposed to be like a secret place so that thieves don't know where your stuff is when you're on the beach or at the pool. I don't think this would deter a thief. I mean, I guess they just like wouldn't know what it was. I guess that could be a thing, but it is really comfortable. Like I do love a good pillow. I like to rest my head. Do you find this useful in your life? It's not cute. It looks like a camera bag, honestly. If someone was walking around this, I would think it was a camera bag. I don't know. This is up to you. It holds things. It's comfortable for my head. It's light and it can be a purse. I have tested this. That's my thoughts. If you think this would fit your lifestyle, go for it. I don't know if I would ever actually take this to the beach. And that's all I have to say about it. Let's make some Uncrustables. So um, I just read with my eyeballs that this has bonus includes 30 joke cards. What? Oh, I'm tweeting one of these like every day. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! That is sad. Why did the mushroom get invited to all the parties? He's a fun guy. <gasps> oh, I'm saving these for Twitter. Joke of the day is coming back, y'all. Follow me on Twitter, Miss Harballer. So this, don't get squished bread. Large sized bread. Oh, I have a sourdough. So I hope that works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't even have to just use it for PB and J. You could use it for anything? You can make a hot pocket. Diary a bucket. That is it from a stand-up comedian years ago. Anyway, look it, optional. Like if you're using cheese, you can cut the cheese first, then put it in the bread, then cut it. You can make hot pockets. 
I'm really excited about this. All right, here we go. Layers? I need the instructions back. Here we go. I figured it out. We're just gonna exist. We're just gonna make a simple PB&J today. Okay, I don't just think it needs to be like that so you can see what's going on, right? Okay, I just keep down here on your level. I'm aware that PB&J on sourdough is no bueno. We're just seeing if we can like, yeah, that should work. We're just seeing if this works, okay? We're gonna see the flaws, the pros, the cons, all that business, okay? Now, when you think of this, you think PB&J. That's why we're making a PB&J. Uncrustables, y'all. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. Put this thin, and you firmly press it, and it shot out the top. <laughs> Remove, and then you're done. Okay, it did do it, but it's a mess and it shot out the top. So your bread's gotta be sturdy. You can't have just, I look so short and it's because my legs are spread like crazy. Don't make PB&J with sourdough bread. Just don't do it. It's not good, but it worked. To an extent, it did shoot out the top, but that's because sourdough bread doesn't have much give. It's very stiff bread. This works. I didn't think it was gonna work that well, and it sealed the edges. Like nothing's coming out the bottom. It sealed it. You do waste a lot of bread. Like that is, you're, you're gonna waste bread. But you could make Hot Pockets, and it, what, you, you could be one of those people or have children that don't like crust. So that works, but this is pretty cool. And you can make different shapes. You could do the square one on normal like sandwich bread. So you don't, you're only getting rid of the crust and not much more. And then there's triangle ones for the funsies of it. I think this is a great product. I'm on board with this. This is fantastic. This sandwich is not. My hand is just covered in gross peanut butter. To the outro. All right, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Those products were actually legit, except for this one, because I misread the instructions. I didn't misread, I just didn't read them. And I feel like a total failure, and I've just, I don't deserve life anymore. That's dramatic. I, that was, no, I don't mean that at all. That was way too extreme. I apologize. Okay, but everything else was fantastic. Um, if there's ever any products you guys want me to test, let me know about them so I can test them out. I love you guys so much, so subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it, make sure to check it out my podcast channel and my vlog channel. You're wonderful, you're amazing, you're beautiful. Okay, that's the end of this video.